Eagle-eyed royal fans have been left in awe at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's home office, complete with plush chairs that face into the room like thrones, and a stunning open fireplace behind them. The Sussex's explosive Netflix documentary exposed several royal revelations on top members of the royal family, but some viewers have instead been left focusing on the pair's interior decoration. While most scenes throughout the bombshell six-part series were filmed in a rented mansion nearby, fans were treated to a few glimpses inside their gorgeous property. Interviewer Alison P. Davis, who was hand-picked by Harry and Meghan to write a feature on the pair, has seen their working from home set up in person. Writing in the Cut magazine, she revealed, the two run Archwell from their shared home office, specifically from two plush club chairs placed side by side behind a single desk, facing into the room as though they were thrones. Alongside the chairs that cost a whopping £340, the Sussexes have a white crystal and golden vase to store flowers and a floral tray with a cute teacup and plate. A rustic wooden desk also sits in the room, with one video released also showing an eye-wateringly expensive Hermes blanket. The revealing show quickly became one of the most popular series of 2022, with the first three episodes being watched an impressive 81.5 million times, making it the most watched show in the whole of the UK and second most popular in the US. However, it didn't translate into good ratings for the Sussexes, who were hit with poor reviews. On Rotten Tomatoes, the docuseries has a score of 48% and 12% from viewers, with IMDb giving it a score of 4.3 out of 10. Harry and Meghan have been called lots of things by lots of people. Wrong'uns, Hollywood hobos and tantruming toddlers. It's time to add a new moniker to the list as Variety has compared them to a circus act, a veritable dog and pony show. Variety ran a story stating, it's well past time for Harry and Meghan 2.0 and given they've beaten this horse to death, perhaps this one trick pony is due for the glue factory. The article ran in its VIP section and claimed their incessant braying about how the royal family allegedly did them wrong has gone on long enough. Too long. If questioned if any more whining is warranted and if their bratty rants have turned them into a one trick pony, it was written by Andrew Wallenstein, president and chief media analyst of Variety Intelligence Platform, which focuses on market research. According to the Daily Mail, the scorching comment hints that the rag has turned on the Markles and it provides an insight into how the Sussexes are being perceived by parts of an industry they've now committed themselves to. The Markles did a Netflix reality show this month. Next month, Harry's memoir Spare comes out and in 2021, they did a foul interview with Oprah Winfrey in which they vented spleen about his and her families. As such, Wallenstein asked, how much more meat could possibly be left on this bone? Wallenstein thinks that even the most dim-witted Markle fans will tire of their constant victimhood, and that by the time Harry's book is published, many may see that a backlash accelerates as the couple's strategically timed disclosures start to come across too carefully choreographed. Not to mention, full of steaming tripe.